All right, my first ever Cosmic Rank 5 is Adam Warlock. And this one feels really nice because um, Adam Warlock, I put up about 290 million points in this arena. And for those that don't grind arena, that is a lot of points to do, right? It was a really tedious grind. And the best part is he went for like 154 million. So I overshot by a mile and a half. But that doesn't matter because I have the champion now and he is now rank five as my first ever cosmic one so that is pretty sweet and adam warlock is just crazy good obviously he is just really powerful um his control is just off the charts his damage output also pretty nutty as well so this guy just has a lot of different things that just make him really really strong right i feel like he is in contention for champion of the year he is just that good like his control is phenomenal his damage output like i said is also really good but there is like some complexity with the champion because there is a lot of things to work around right like you know if the ai is passive like what can you do to maintain your sovereignty counter right because that's what he builds off of the sovereignty counter is the champion pretty much and like there's ways to maintain it like with the sp1 stun with the stasis pod with just you know uh your actions as well can like help affect the ai like there is a lot of different ways to help you know keep your combo going but like right there a minute and four seconds very very strong and notice here like at the beginning of the fight he becomes really passive right but then watch this like right here we go in we start the combo right but then look at this he just plays so passive so i stasis pod up he goes back in and now we just saved our combo there so yeah like those those type of things help you maintain your combo and yeah like just work around that and it's just a really easy time with him people say that he is ai reliant but honestly not as much as people think because you can play around like the ai being really annoying and you can just maintain your combo pretty easily in my opinion so yeah like this guy is just really strong like there's very little ai reliance because he has his own ways of controlling the fight, right? So yeah, Adam Warlock, just a fantastic character. I feel like he's really well designed. And yeah, like everything he does, he just does it really, really well. So here, drop the SP2. Doesn't crit, unfortunately, but then we can just go back in. And yeah, he's done for. And now we have this Doctor Doom. And Doctor Doom is not an easy champion, especially for a cosmic character, right? But you're going to see here, Adam Warlock just takes it somehow. And like this just shows his reach his reach is just insane so he's good for this fight because he has the sovereignty buff and what that does is it makes him immune to nullify uh fate seal stagger all that stuff right and it is just a really powerful thing so like right here he drops sp2 and we are still surviving i blocked that for some reason i don't know why i did that but um doesn't matter anyway uh but yeah here we're just you know playing it slowly we're just letting the aura tick away and then after that we can just go back in and then just keep our combo up right so here i dropped the striker uh that was like to maintain the combo there and yeah now we're almost fully ramped up which is fine and we still haven't like you know had any issues yet right so yeah now the combo is complete we now have the sovereignty buff active so we can just you know maintain that and we can just be immune to his nullify which is perfect and yeah on paper this fight seems pretty bad right but he actually takes it very very well so yeah we can just start the combo again perfect we now have our sovereignty buffs so that means like they can't be nullified or anything which is just sweet and yeah this fight was really really interesting and it's really cool because he can take it with like absolute ease like right there get a nice crit and yeah he can't nullify our buff so that is perfect and yeah that was a really clean fight overall um and now we have this fight right here and we can just use the stasis spot here to get immunity to cold snap so watch this we drop the pod we are now immune to the cold snap effect which is just perfect and yeah like the the pod has so many uses man it helps ignore cold snap incinerate um shock frostbite it also lets you like ignore a lot of damage output at once like you know the harvest things like that and yeah, also Adam Warlock is just great for some cosmic lanes because he has access to a ton of buffs and that is really, you know, really useful, right? So yeah, we can just go back in here, drop the SP2, 65,000 crit, pretty dang sweet. And yeah, he is just so much fun to play. Like the control is off the charts. His control is just so, so good. Like here, we can just go back in, drop the relic and then go back in with another combo, 26,000 mediums, drop an sp1 and yeah that cycle is just insane man it is just so so good and we just obliterated that fight pretty much now we have this um war machine oh no the sarka raccoon and this is an auto block lane right but you know adam warlock has permanent unblockable which is just really really useful right and there um i go in i drop the pod because i want to just maintain the sovereignty counter so that is a really smart tactic to do 
like there are so many ways to help maintain the counter and it's just silly man he just has so many ways to maintain it here we go in we can just drop the sp1 again and yeah now things are looking pretty sweet if we go back in and then we drop another sp1 and yeah he just cannot do anything right like this is just pure control right here and he just gets obliterated man in like what 32 seconds just insane just so so insane and now we have the cyclops here same nose and all that and yeah like he is just so good for auto block characters man because he just counters them like with ease the unblockable is just there all the time and it's just so so useful right so yeah like he is probably the best auto block counter out there i feel like you know having a permanent unblockable really just does that to you so yeah uh there we pot up for the safety there he drops the sp1 perfectly then we can go back in drop our own sp2 and yeah some nice damage there for sure 35k crit pretty sweet uh there we just have the pot so we ignore the damage output which is fun and yeah like this fight's going pretty dang well we can drop this two here again and yeah like the control is just so good man it's just so so good and the auto block counter as well but now it's time to start the combo again right so we go back in we start the combo we drop the relic we go back in drop the sp1 and yeah the fight is just over now he just cannot do anything whatsoever right and uh yeah a very clean fight there and now we have Gauntlet Modok, and this fight is just awesome, man. I love this fight so much. So Adam Warlock with the Unblockable just shuts down Modok with absolute ease, right? Like, he is probably the best Modok counter out there because he just, like, there is no worries whatsoever because he just cannot block. He cannot auto-block at all, and that's just really fun. But yeah, here we pot up for safety. We can just go back in now, and then, yeah, he just becomes really aggressive with the taunt. And yeah, like, the taunt is so good. But yeah, like, the, the auto block counter here is just so useful because, yeah, Modok without it, it's just really straightforward to deal with, right? And yeah, I feel like Adam Warlock has just made a massive impact on the game already, and he is, like, just barely coming out, right? But he is just so, so strong, like, already, which is just insane, man. But yeah, uh, I'm glad I have this character. I feel like he will just only get better as time progresses because, yeah, he is just a very powerful champion. He has a lot of, like, a lot of reach. A lot of versatility, a lot of utility, a lot of damage output for sure. He just has like the whole package, right? So yeah, Adam Warlock, a very good addition to an already broken class, right? So like that's just pretty hilarious how like the only cosmic character of this year is just one of the best of like the entire year. That is just crazy because the class is already pretty dang solid, right? I think it is the best class out there for sure. And like now it has Adam Warlock as well. So yeah, it just got a massive upgrade. And like this fight is just going crazy well like he is just destroying this modok here he just cannot do anything whatsoever and yeah like adam warlock man he just has so much use in the game and he just will be a mainstay for so long i'm guessing because yeah he also has like some defensive use too which is perfect because he's a really good dual threat and yeah like this guy just has so much man it's just really really cool uh so here i dropped this p1 again because he was playing passively doesn't matter we can go back in and yeah now things are just back on track and uh, yeah, the fight's pretty much over now. Uh, we dropped the SP1, and we dropped the Relic, actually. Then we go back in, and he is just down. And that was a really, really clean fight. So yeah, Adam Warlock is just so good, man. He is just so, so powerful. His damage output is just absurd. His utility is great. The control is just off the charts. This guy is just a really strong Cosmic character. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on Adam Warlock. Let me know your thoughts on him at rank 5. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me.